if this still doesn't work keep the same 8% fragrance low the same fragrance type keep the same wax you use in step um, number three test a bigger vessel and move on to step numero cinco if all this fails then quit candle making this is it it is not for you i am so hola mi gente bella y bienvenidos a mi canal my name is sandra if this is your first time here and welcome to my channel in this channel you'll be learning and i'll be speaking about everything high end or luxury candle making business tips so in today's video we are going to be discussing how to increase your hot throw and have stronger smelling candles and i have five tips plus one bonus tip for you today so let's jump in number one know the recommended fragrance load for your wax not all waxes can retain the same amount of scent load and some fragrances perform best with less fragrance load in waxes i've compiled a list of temperature guides which also includes fragrance load that i will be linking in the description box i have previously sent this out to my email list back in march so if you were subscribed at that time then you should have already received it otherwise it's available in the description box for you to download in the description so most people believe that adding more fragrance will make your candle smell stronger and that's so far from the truth if the maximum fragrance load for the wax that you're using is between 6 to 10 percent try adding an 8 percent fragrance load to your candle let the candle cure for at least a week if it's coconut or soy wax and then for a few days if you're using paraffin wax light it up in your bathroom if the scent fills your bathroom then move it into a slightly bigger area such as your bedroom and if it fills your bedroom then move it to a living room because your living room will be probably a lot bigger than your bedroom always test in a smaller confined area and then work your way to a larger area remember that adding too much fragrance oil way over the recommended setting will make your candles sweat clog your wicks and will create carbon buildup which can make your wick mushroom create soot and have a burning scent instead of the scent that you have chosen for that candle before you increase the fragrance load move on to step numero dos Test a fragrance that you know already smells strong out of a bottle. Many dark color fragrance oils tend to be strongly scented fragrances such as cedarwood, sandalwood, vetiver, musk, um, cinnamon, clove, uh, nutmeg, almond, ginger, amber. Many fragrances that contain a high level of vanilla, although vanilla is not a dark colored uh, fragrance oil, but right out of the bottle, it is very highly scented and many earthy and bakery scented fragrance oil also fit in this criteria you will know these scents because the moment you twist the cap take a whiff your senses will open up or the scent will just have taken you aback scents that are very light and airy tend to work best in paraffin blend waxes because paraffin um, has a higher fragrance load and retains scent better than any other wax and this is why many waxes well non-vegan waxes contain small percentages of paraffin to increase and aid in hot scent throw oh and as um fyi not all expensive scents are strong smelling so don't believe that because you have an expensive uh bottle of fragrance oil that it will outperform any other fragrance oils that you have because the large majority of them are going to be very uh, strongly scented but not all of them um, trust me ask me how I know in the description box below actually in the comments down below also on the same note not all fragrances from the bottle will perform great in a candle I know I totally I just contradicted myself it's um <laughs> kind of controversial information since I just literally said to test a strong smelling scent out of the bottle However, I didn't say that if it smells strong out of the bottle, then it will outperform in a candle. This is just a good way to test out your candle performance and your fragrance oil combination. If this is still not working, keep the same 8% eight fragrance, 8 fragrance uh, load and keep the same fragrance type and move on to step numero 3. Change waxes. Soy wax already alone has a bad reputation for not having a strong hot throw but if you're keen on using soy then use a soy blend such as coconut with soy or soy with any other vegetable wax or you can try soy um, with paraffin or the most famously known as IGI 6006 you can also try a coconut wax blend which I highly recommend or you can try just plain paraffin wax 
check out my video paraffin soy or coconut wax which to pick for my candle line for an in-depth explanation on coconut wax paraffin wax and soy waxes if this still doesn't work keep the same 8% fragrance load the same fragrance type either change the wax for the new one or keep the same wax or better yet just like what I like to do test them out both and move on to step numero cuatro change vessels vessels that are six ounces or less tend to be too small for a large surface area so if you're using soy wax with a light fragrance oil and a six ounce vessels chances are that the scent will not go past two to three feet from where the candle is standing so and if you're not highly sensitive to scents meaning that you enjoy highly scented candles then you probably won't smell this scent while it's being lit people who have sensitivity to scents will enjoy the light scented candles and will enjoy soy waxes because they will pick up faint scents quicker i am not that type of person and i like my candles to smell super strong if this still doesn't work keep the same eight percent fragrance low the same fragrance type keep the same wax you use in step um number three test a bigger vessel and move on to step numero cinco if all this fails then quit candle making this is it it is not for you i am so kidding i am just kidding okay so the fifth step is to change wicks some wicks will perform best with certain waxes and i have mentioned this in my candle making book titled candle making business hacks which i have right behind me and i will link it over here for you to download it is free if you're using the ebook version which is in the description in the box below or you could purchase it on amazon um and i have mentioned before that cdn wicks work best with natural waxes cd and eco wicks wicks um, work best with soy waxes lx and htp wicks works best with paraffin and paraffin blend waxes and wooden wicks work best with natural waxes and waxes that contain a small amount of paraffin. This again is my opinion and this has not been tested by anybody else but me. Maybe somebody else tested it but they have not told me anything or I have not researched it anywhere else. This is not the rule of thumb but based on my experiment this is what I have concluded. And step number Six, which is my bonus tip for you guys today. So if you started out with 8% and you tried everything else, then at this point, then up your fragrance load to 10%. If 10% is the maximum fragrance load for your wax, then stop right there. Don't move any further. Don't collect $100 and don't pass go, okay? Because again, if you do add more fragrance oil than what your wax can withstand, then you are going to run into some issues as I explained earlier. So if you started at 8% and your wax can hold more fragrance, then you definitely must change your wax type or try another scent. Most candle suppliers will let you know the maximum fragrance load for the wax you have chosen. Then again, um, Try all the tips above before adding a higher concentration of fragrance to your wax and only add more if your wax maximum allows. Um, and there's not a big difference if you started off with 8% and then moved up to 9%. When I tested my candles, I didn't see any big um, difference. Um, and it's also like a 0.01% when you do add that extra 1% to your uh, candles when you add that extra 1% fragrance load to your candles so it's not a big difference I saw a bigger significance when I increased it by 2 so from 8% to 10% because there's a less margin for errors when you do that as opposed to just using um, 8 to 9 it's, it's just 8 to 9 it's just too close of a margin and you won't be um, able to test the difference um, plus, it's easier to manipulate if you do it um, this way as opposed to going from 6 to 10% or from 6 to 12% or 8 to 12% you catch my drift. So it's less margin for errors if you go from 8 to 10 as opposed, from, as opposed to 6 to 10%. Always, always, always test one variable at a time so you know what worked and what didn't work. On this same note, 
if you're adding any embeds, color, mica powder, which I don't really like. Um, but you know, that's just me. Do not test these variables when you're testing for fragrance load. These will affect your testing and you will get confused and lost if the above steps don't work for you. So once you have your fragrance down to the T, then you can incorporate any other additives you want to add. Also, on the same note, know that not all fragrances work with every wax. Um, I used gingerbread from Candle Science at 12, 10, and 8% and it was just way too strong and it was clogging my wicks. Um, it was creating too much soot. So what I did was just um, decrease it to 6% and that was the happy medium for the fragrance for this fragrance which is the gingerbread which I was testing and by the way I use this fragrance with IGI 6006 when I did my testing so if you enjoyed this video then hit the like button subscribe smash that notification bell to be alerted of all my upcoming videos plus liking the video doesn't cost a thing but it does help other candle makers find my video in the YouTube algorithm Spread the knowledge and share this video. You'll be helping a mermaid. My husband likes mermaids and I hope he's not watching since I exposed his secret. Anyway, I'm rambling. Hasta la próxima. Bye, mi gente bella.